Hi, I have another viewer success story. And this one is from M. M, M, M. This is what she says. I really appreciate hearing the success stories you post. They inspire me and I learn something new about how to master my manifesting skills in each one. So I thought it was time for me to share one too in hopes it can help someone else. This story is about a specific person at my job. Several months ago, the boss I loved got fired and an awful woman became my new manager. I was really upset and angry at first because I knew it was not a good fit and she was not qualified. I would sit at her at my desk and I think this woman is horrible. How can I possibly work for her? I felt trapped and resented her because I loved my job and the company. Then I started telling myself, it's okay, everything is going to work out. I did the rubbing out technique from your videos on my breaks. I tried only to focus on my work and enjoy my coworkers and all the things I loved about my job. Slowly things happened. The woman had conflicts with others in the office. Then I was moved on to another manager's team because of an organizational change. Even after all that, I would still get frustrated whenever I had to listen to her in meetings and I would still think about how awful she was and wish her gone. Then I realized no matter how much I was trying to be happy about my job during the day, I was still holding on to the resentment and frustration I had towards her. So one day I saw her in the hall and I just thought to myself, she has no power over me. I decided that I'm happy at work no matter if she is there or not. A few days later, while I was out of town, on a trip with family, I got a text from a co-worker. The awful woman, woman was moved out of the management and into a completely different department. Now I never have to work with her again or see her in meetings. The moment I got my full manifestation was when I decided to let go of the junk that made me feel bad about her situation and just be happy and grateful for all the good of it. I never stopped wanting her to go away, but I just decided it was okay anyway and I didn't let it consume me. I think the same is true for our specific people. Focus on what you love about them and yourself and then just let go of the junk. You won't need them to come back in order to be happy and that's when they will show up. Oh, I'm so grateful for this experience because now I understand the mental and emotional state you must be in in order to manifest. Be grateful for all the wonderful people and things in your life. Love yourself more than your desires and have faith that everything is working out for you. Thank you for all that you do. I can't wait to share more successes with you soon. Thank you, M. That's lovely. I will put down below the rubbing out technique and I will put down below my personal success story with a co-worker that I had and those of you who want some extra listening can have a look at that and let me just see what else you said here. Uh, I think that's all you really practiced. You let, did well, you practice letting go and you practice the rubbing out technique, which is great. I will put the two, I think there's a couple of letting go and detachment videos. I'll put those down below as well. All right, fabulous. Love a good success story from you guys. So wonderful to see you hatching good manifestations. Woo, woo, woo.